In this video, I will demonstrate the synthesis of copper aspirinate from acetylsilicylic acid and copper carbonate. For this procedure, you will need a stirring hot plate, a vacuum filtration flask and Buckner funnel, a magnetic stir bar, a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, and a 150 milliliter beaker. This procedure also requires 9 grams of acetylsilicylic acid and 3 grams of copper carbonate. You will also need distilled water and isopropyl alcohol. Begin by placing 9 grams of acetylsilicylic acid into the beaker with the stir bar. Add 75 milliliters of distilled water to the beaker and bring the water to boiling with stirring. As I mentioned in a previous video that heating can hydrolyze the acetylsalicylic acid, it does not occur rapidly enough without either an acid or base catalyst, so heating quickly and forming the metal complex allows for good yield of product without loss of the acetyl group. It is also unlikely that the acetylsalicylic acid will fully dissolve in this volume of water. However, it is fine to proceed at this stage once the water is near boiling. With rapid stirring, gradually add copper carbonate. The first small portion should be added carefully, as the acetylsalicylic acid reacts with the copper carbonate, carbon dioxide is released. Adding too large a portion will result in the reaction mixture overflowing from the beaker. Continue gradually adding the powdered copper carbonate to the acetylsalicylic acid mixture. You will notice a gradual color change as blue copper aspirinate begins to dominate over the white acetylsalicylic acid crystals. Once all the copper carbonate has been added, continue heating and stirring for 5 to 10 minutes, then stop heating and stirring and allow the mixture to settle. Once the mixture is settled, if you observe bubbling after the water has begun to cool down, then the reaction is not yet complete, and you should resume stirring and gently heating. When you are ready to proceed, filter the copper aspirinate over vacuum. At this stage, our copper aspirinate is very impure. You can see that white chunks of unreacted acetylsalicylic acid, or perhaps even salicylic acid, impurities remain. To remove this, we will wash the copper aspirinate with isopropyl alcohol to dissolve the impurities. Transfer the crude copper aspirinate to a 150 milliliter beaker, and then add approximately 100 milliliters of isopropanol with stirring. Allow the copper aspirinate to settle again, and look for any visible white impurities. If you cannot see any, then you can attempt to filter again. However, you may require more isopropanol to dissolve the impurities. After the isopropanol wash and a second vacuum filtration and drying, the result is a clean, fine, dark blue powder. Use a spatula to break up any lumps and check for impurities, and if possible, remove them carefully with the spatula or forceps, as they may be insoluble contaminants such as a scrap of filter paper. The result of this quick reaction is copper aspirinate. This compound and other similar salicylates are being investigated for their potential pharmaceutical effects. If you like this video, please rate, subscribe, and comment.